look, man, a lot of people want to know about my my experience as a five percenter, right? Look, you got to understand, man, when I was in my 20s, I was very open minded to a lot of different things. When I was in my 20s, man, I was the kind of guy once I started learning about different faiths and learning about history and coming 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 into my own manhood i had something against christianity islam and organized religion right i no longer feel that way but i just feel like when you're young and you're starting your own journey in life and you're learning these things that they didn't teach you in school and you you, you feel like you've been lied to and you feel like you've been cheated by the establishment. So I lashed out at Christianity and Islam and all of these organized religions because I thought that they were monstrosities. You know what I mean? I thought that they were evil. And as I got into my thirties, I started to realize that I, I'm the one who's saying that Christians and people who follow these organized religions are small minded and judgmental, but I'm really the judgmental one. I think because I'm a five percenter, I'm better than them. You understand what I'm saying? And I got out that mentality. So I never really speak about me being a five percenter because I'm very respectful of people's religions, faiths, and beliefs. My whole thing is, yo, if that floats your boat and that makes you happy and that motivates you to be a better person, I'm all for it. I used to be the kind of guy who wanted to debate everything. Why do you believe in God? How do you know the Bible is nothing but a rewritten story from ancient Egypt? I was all into I was all like that. But once I got into my thirties, I just I realized, man, I want to treat, I, I want to be treated. I want to treat people the way I want to be treated. And I just think it's so disrespectful to insult somebody's faith or try to debunk somebody's faith. So if I did that to you in the past, I apologize. But I was a young man and I was growing. And now I'm finished growing. I'm not finished growing, but I've evolved past that point And I've learned the error of my ways. But yeah, I consider myself to be a five percenter. And being a five percenter helped me in so many different ways because it gave me confidence. You know, when you become a five percenter and you do your 120, you're learning about all of these different facts. You're learning about all of these different. I mean, it, it, they call it civilizing the uncivilized. And it, and it gave me so much confidence in myself and it made me proud to know my history, know the history of my people. It just made me it made me proud as a black man, you know, and I keep it private. Because I just don't want to disrespect anybody's faith. And a lot of my 5% of brothers don't understand that because they're very rambunctious when it comes to ideology. They want to debate people and all of that. And I'm just not like that. I look at it like this. Yo, me being a 5%er is a private thing. My beliefs are private. If you ask me about it, I'll tell you about it. But yes, I do go by Benny Shala. Shala. Ben Shala. That's a play on the inshallah, B E N shallah, inshallah, God willing. So that's that's my five percent attribute. I call myself shallah, inshallah, God willing. And yeah, I got it from Raekwon. You know, when I was, I mean, that's what they call Raekwon, and I, I I liked it. You know, and then when I found out what it meant, I liked it even more because when you write the name Ben B E N and add shallah after that, it sounds like it's like Ben inshallah. You know what I mean? But that's my name, Shala, and that's what I represent. I am a five percenter, but I'm not trying to market the nation of gods and earth. I don't work for their promotional team. And like I said, you will be accepted here regardless if you're a Christian, you follow Islam, whatever, you, Judaism, whatever. I'm not going to judge you and I'm not going to try to debunk your faith. If anything, I'm not even going to bring it up unless you bring it up. Peace.